Along with the increase in digital financial transactions is an observed rise in cyber scams targeting e-payment users. Common scams are those that trick you to share personal information through phishing emails, smishing text messages, vishing voice calls, spoofed or fake websites or SIM card upgrade by unauthorized telco agents. In most cases, the scammer pretends to be from a financial institution, a popular company, or telco, and asks for your account details, passwords, OTPs, and other personal information. The scammer then uses these data to access your account for fraudulent transactions. Other scams trick you to send money to accounts that seem valid for transactions that appear legitimate, such as Online Imposter Scams Wherein an imposter pretends to be a relative, financial institution representative, potential employer, charity organization, or romantic partner to obtain your account details and personal information or request for monetary support. Bogus Online Sellers on the other hand are those who pretend to sell products and services that are not delivered after you have made the e-payment or money transfer. What to do if you get scammed? Keep calm and follow these steps. Document what happened. Save messages. Take screenshots. Keep transaction histories. Call your financial institution's hotline immediately. Provide complete information and share evidence of the incident. Document all communication with the financial institution. Get clarity on its proposed actions and timelines to address your concern. Allow time for the financial institution to review, investigate, and act on your concern. Many cyber scams require full investigation protocols to determine accountable parties and execute solutions. If your financial institution does not act on your concern or you are unsatisfied with its action, escalate to the BSP. Its consumer assistance mechanism serves as second-level recourse for complaints about BSP-supervised financial institutions. Contact the BSP online buddy or Bob on the BSP website or Facebook page or via text message only after going through your financial institution's complaint handling process. You have the ultimate responsibility to safeguard your digital financial transactions. Protect yourself from cyber scams. Know and be wary of warning signs of the different kinds of scams. Engage only with entities registered or supervised by government agencies. Assess reviews from their past customers. Verify the legitimacy and security of websites, apps, or social media pages before making transactions. Never share your account and personal details with anyone. Do not post these information on social media. Use strong passwords and change them regularly. Use different passwords for different accounts. Activate multi-factor authentication in all your accounts. These include security questions, biometrics, M-pins, OTP, email, and security alerts. Follow your financial institution's security guidelines and safety reminders when making online transactions. Remember that your first recourse about a cyber scam or suspicious transaction is to inform your financial institution immediately. Let's do our part to keep our information safe. Let's keep working with the financial services industry so that we can safely and securely make financial transactions online. E-safety is everyone's responsibility.